In Troy, you have more than just your armies at your disposal. Agents are incredibly versatile, each having a different role within a settlement, on the campaign map, or attached to an army. There are three classes of common agents, which are spy, envoy, and priestesses. In addition to these, you can gain access to epic agents, which are the Gorgon, Satyr, and Seer. All common agents have both passive and targeted abilities, which can be augmented and made stronger through their skill trees. First, let's talk about subversion and assassination. If you like the sound of this, then the spy is for you. You can gain access to the spy when you build a winemaker. The spy's first ability is Outrider, a passive ability that activates when he's embedded into your own army, which will increase the sight range of that army. Next is Thwart and Foil. When standing passive in a home region, this will decrease the chance that an enemy agent will be successful in their action. If you target your own settlement, you can use Foster the Wounded. This will increase the replenishment rate of the local garrison as well as any army encamped at the settlement or in the region. Next, you can target a foreign settlement with Murmurs of Sedition. This will cause the garrison to suffer attrition damage. Against a foreign character, you can assassinate rival which, as it sounds, will either kill or wound the army leader. And the last is Poison the Well. This is a targeted ability against a foreign army that will cause the army to suffer attrition. If you believe that a wise king's greatest weapon are clever words spoken with conviction, then the envoy is for you. You can recruit him after building the Megaron. Embedding him into your army activates his logistical control, reducing the upkeep of that army. When standing passive, dispensation will increase resource production of the local region. Targeting one of your own settlements will use Venerate the Ancestors, which will increase your influence. Against a foreign settlement, you can use Seeds of Descent, which again will increase your influence over that region. You can use Deliberation against a foreign agent, which can decrease their movement range. Next is Denounce Treachery, which is the only skill that needs to be unlocked via the skill tree. This again targets a foreign hero, but instead of decreasing their movement, it has the chance to wound or kill them. The last ability is targeted against a foreign army which is lead astray, and this will decrease the army's campaign movement range. Priestesses are a little different to spies and envoys. Instead of having personality traits, they are instead allied to certain cults. You can recruit them once you've built an altar. If a priestess is embedded into one of your armies, she will use Sacrificial Offering, which will perform a ritual before battle to receive positive effects. Standing idly will raise the happiness of the local region through her Soothsayer effect. Targeting your own settlement will use Ritual of Exaltation, which can increase the favour of any god who has a temple built in that settlement, or in the absence of a temple, a random god. Targeting a foreign settlement will use Ritual of Ruination, or Foreign Army or Ration of Dead can decrease the unit morale. And targeting a foreign agent with Prophecy of Doom will prevent that agent from moving. Epic agents have incredibly powerful abilities that can easily turn a losing battle or situation into a victory. You will only have several turns once you've recruited them, or if you use one of their targeted abilities, they will leave your service. You gain the ability to recruit them through the Divine Will system, which you can learn more about here. Athena will give you access to the Gorgon. Orison of Curses will be activated if she stands passive. This will reduce the movement range of foreign armies in that region. If she targets a settlement, she will use Frightening Visage, which will severely damage the settlement's garrison. and targeting a foreign army, she will use Petrifying Gaze. This will reduce morale, battle speed, and campaign map movement. Aphrodite will allow you to recruit the satyr. His first ability is Song of Tranquility. When standing passive, he will increase growth and happiness of the region. His next ability is Song of Prosperity. This ability will instantly complete all building projects within the targeted settlement. 
His last ability is called Song of Discord, which will reduce the targeted army's morale. And lastly, Apollo will allow you access to the Seer. Divine Presence will grant you experience each turn for any hero or agent while the Seer is standing passive. When a seer is recruited, they will receive a divine errand, a mission from the gods to visit a sacred site somewhere on the campaign map. If complete, your faction leader will gain a sizable amount of experience. And lastly, targeting your own settlement will use Ritual of True Sight, which will gain you a significant amount of favor with any cult that has a temple in that settlement. It's worth noting that both common and epic agents don't have any effect on the city of Troy. Even though common and epic agents aren't available as combat units, it doesn't make them any less useful. Their wide range of skills and abilities can help you in every aspect of the game and are well worth the cost to obtain them.